What's going on guys, it's Deathmonk here. Just a quick video here for you guys uh, about what we've learned about Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3. So for those who don't know, the third season of Modern Warfare 3 has provided fans with plenty of healthy and highly requested content. And is rumoured to release on Wednesday, April 3rd as per the in-game Battle Pass timer. Season 3 content updates are expected for multiplayer, zombies and warzone. And it will receive new maps, weapons, operators and more. So here's everything we know about Modern Warfare 3 Season 3, launching at 9am Pacific, 11am Central and 12pm Eastern, which is 5pm UK on April the 3rd. So as you guys can see, gone to the in-game Battle Pass timer, Season 3 is scheduled to launch on April the 3rd, as per those uh, days and times I just mentioned. So we've been on track with all the uh, updates so far, so as we've seen with previous updates, the preload for new content should become available first on PlayStation and Battle.net around two days before the season begins. Around April 1st or 2nd is when players should be able to download any necessary updates to prepare for Season 3. So judging from the download size of previous MW3 seasons, the file size should be approximately 16 to 30 gig in size which is subject to change. While Rawzone is receiving a new resurgence map, Zombies is also expected to receive an extremely large amount of content which may increase file size. So that's really interesting. Uh, we're expecting um, what well, larger than usual title updates ended up decreasing back in the days of Modern Warfare 2 the overall game size in exchange for needing to tw download 20 to 40 gigabytes of data for the new content. So we'll better in mind guys when the updates eventually just go live. The main battle pass operator, which is currently redacted to us at the moment, but code names for the three original operators were posted on Twitter by the usual data miners, which include Romeo, Summer and Fall. It's not confirmed which of these operators are for Season 3, as seasonal code names may imply they are operators for Seasons 5 and 6, which take place in Summer or Fall. So there is a rumoured operator, which is believed to be Milena Romanova, who uh, we saw during the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. Um, so she's reportedly coming to the battlefields as a playable operator, however it's unclear if this character will be featured in the Battle Pass or in a future bundle. A leaked operator skin called Detained. Images of a Prison Break operator skin were posted on Twitter, which may be tied to a future bundles of the Season 3 Battle Pass. The operator was also seen in an official Season 1 reloaded promotional image, which may be in a hint towards the prison themed of Season 3, in which we see the return of Rebirth Island or Vosrosadenia Island, as is more commonly known. There's it's currently an unknown Black Cell operator at the moment. Weapons. Currently the number of ranged weapons leaked out from Modern Warfare 3 in Season 3 of Warzone. Two of these weapons were last seen in Advanced Warfare, while two are completely original. This is not the final list of weapons for Season 3. So we potentially are getting the BAL, aka the BAL 27 from Advanced Warfare. The Moors, aka I think it was called the, the Moors Sniper Rifle in Advanced Warfare. Uh, pretty sure there may have been in a, a weapon in there called, I think it was, was it Silver Snipe or something like that? Hang on a minute, Moors... I'm sure they have the word silver in it, but BAL 27, I'm pretty sure most of you guys probably remember the Obsidian Steed, so that's really interesting. MP9, which is a full auto pistol, and a compound bow. Now, there were rumours to suggest that the ASM-1 was um, supposed to be coming to the game, but apparently this was removed in a recent update. Aftermarket parts, or AMPs. Some aftermarket parts are reportedly coming to MW2 weapons, which would mark the first time sledgehammers touched the last Call of Duty's weaponry apart from the occasional balancing. So we're expecting to this list of uh, potential AMPs. So the RGL projectile part, a lever stock, jugger brake, mag 2068R, Veco Rec, Veco Mag, ammo underscore 762N, Bustle 300, Mag 300, Stock 300, Rec, Iron Bar Stock, and 50B. Now, we're not exactly sure of these potentially code names. Maybe one or two of these may be the actual name, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there's leakers claim that the M4, the M16, the Broadside, and the Lockwood MK2, these all may have um, aftermarket parts coming in Season 3 for those Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Now, original 6v6 multiplayer maps. Now, 
Believe it or not, Sledgehammer confirmed that the first two seasons of Modern Warfare 3 will contain three original 6v6 maps each, not including content for mods like Gunfight or Ground War. With just six original maps left, it's unclear if we'll get more than one or two 6v6 maps in Season 3. The Rubin map codenames include Arcade, Dubai, Kinetic, Seafort, Trident and Venice. Now, Gunfight didn't receive any new maps in Modern Warfare 3 Season 2, so it's likely we'll either get some original spaces or carry forward maps added in Season 3. Uh, season 2 blessed Ward Mode fans with another map after Season 1 didn't. While two more war maps have been leaked for post-launch, it's also likely we'll end up seeing new ground war and invasion spaces pulled from Urzikstan. Uh, upcoming war mode maps, so one of these codenames represents the recent Operation Tin Man mission from Season 2, while the other two missions are unreleased. Data miners haven't yet revealed which of the following lists has already come out. Operation Avalanche, Operation Exodus and Operation Kuzka. New crossover content, so it looks like that Season 3 may be adding the likes of the following crossovers. So, uh, Shimo Scar Godzilla bundles, Cheech and Chong operators, Snoop Dogg operator skin and a Devon Booker operator skin. Additionally, gameplay leaked out of the various monster themed bundles coming to Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Season 3. Now, apparently uh, we've got Godzilla, Shimo and Scar and each will receive its own bundle. So, so that's Knuckles Slamwich for Kong. For the standing crouched and prone. Now we've got Kong's Knuckles Slamwich for people who are downed. More or less all the same. This is Godzilla. Uh, that's a bit broken. <laughs> Crouched. Yeah, maybe one or two of these is definitely broken here, guys. Okay. People who are downed. Yeah, Godzilla definitely needs uh, a little bit of work here. Scar King. Shimu. You are puppy. That's the price. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting, guys. Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. Now, uh, just a little heads up here, guys. That was for the potential collaboration during uh, the release of the movie Godzilla X Kong. The, I think it's called The New Empire, if I'm not mistaken. So that's really exciting to look forward to. So we are going to be getting some zombies content, uh, presumably during Season 3. Uh, potentially a new Act 4 story mission, which is uh, very exciting to look forward to for those who are interested in zombies. Zarqua Hydroelectric, rumoured for the new Season 3 Zombies Darky The Rift. So that would be interesting to look forward to as well. Expecting to see a new PvP mode, schematics, weapon cases, uh, potentially a Rebirth Island update. As of now, very little is known about the uh, future of Warzone, apart from the next Resurgence map that's slated for Season 3, as announced during Call of Duty Next, of course. Uh, we've already got Fortune's Keep. Earth's Extend, of course, has already been in the game since day one. Uh, Rebirth Island we're expecting to maybe see during the either Season 3 or if not Season 4. But let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. Of course, we've got this promotional image uh, a fair few weeks ago now uh, showing the specialist perk in what appears to be one of the towers overlooking the prison in Rebirth Island. So, seasonal prestiges, very, very interesting update coming, guys. Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. Uh, don't forget, guys, uh, for those who don't know, I'm actually away during the launch of the Season 3. 
so I won't be able to get as much content, but I'll keep you guys updated with this. From what I know, when I get uh, around to it, guys, I'm currently, I'll, I will be on vacation during that time. But, um, hope everyone's alright with that. Oh, and upon my return back to the UK, I will get some gameplay on the channel as soon as possible of Rebirth Happens. So, as you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so I must upload, and I'll see you the next one. Thanks.